hi guys welcome to this video and in this video i'm going to show you how to do international arbitrage and the escrow process how to use binance for uh, your international arbitrage escrow like that means um if you're doing an international arbitrage whereby you need to send someone money let's say on cheaper cash the person releases usdt to you or you use the xnet Snet arbitrage or any of those arbitrage or is it perfect money or so, or so. but the uh, p uh, p2p method is not on binance and the rates that you guys are choosing is not on binance so this is what you need to do guys okay so i'll go straight up to my, my binance account now i am falling victim of um, international arbitrage scam i think i'll make a video about that in the coming days and i don't and i did this video because i don't want you to fall victim for this so by the way if you're watching this video if not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly click on the subscribe bell and subscribe to this youtube channel I'm about to show you something really really awesome all right so the first thing is the p2p section okay now this is you um you and uh, let's give a scenario let's say you and anyone and uh, there's someone like uh, i was uh as a deal i did i actually lost funds because the person was like okay he's going to receive this money and he's going to deposit it in the bank and use the card to fund binance and so what i would have done was likely if uh, one of us would have done an ad on Binance and click, like, let's say, I'm the one sending the money to him. Now, he doesn't have the USDT, and that was a big risk I took, so I lost money. So, what I would have done was to for him to have the uh, USDT, and I would have said, okay, if you have your USDT on Binance, so you're sending, I'm sending you money from my uh, app to yours, and you receive that money, and you use that money, to uh fund your stuff okay so the person one of the person needs to create an ad on binance and the person needs to choose his own rates okay now to create an ad on binance it's super easy all you need to do is that you need to have traded up to you need to trade up to uh 30 times in a month now if i want to create an ad on binance i will just click click on here so I'll go on here. Okay, so when I will go here now, I will just, depending on the currency that he's uh, paying, let's say he's sending money uh, to me via, uh, now this is the asset I'm releasing to the person or the person is releasing to me. Now this is the currency, if the person is using Naira, Kenya, shilling, maybe sending it to the app or something. So I will just click on any of this i can click on kyc I can click on ghana let's see i'm sending money to my ghana momo sim to another ghana momo sim let's see if i i have a ghana sim already so normally i can buy usdt from people someone in ghana the person will just have to send me i'll just send the person money via the ghana momo sim the person will release USDT to me on binance okay so all i need to do is that the person that must have the person that, that we are transacting, one of the person must have crypto. And you know the most stable US, uh, crypto that we use for this transaction is USDT. So the person must have crypto here on Binance. Okay, so now see it. So the person must have crypto here on Binance. Okay, now you, you are the one carrying the trade. You're sending him money or he is sending you money on let's say he's sending you money on he's sending you from your momo's from his momo number to my momo number that's for people in ghana and i'm releasing usd to him from nigeria or i'm sending him money from my momo number to his own line and he's releasing usd to me all of us what this ad now will now put the asset i'm releasing to the person is this it can be busd or uh, usd but we we'll use the most stable two coins okay now the friend currency can be anything it can be done with someone in the us we can be the usd this is adding to you the usd on your maybe your transfer wise account or your stripe account and you're sending him money the method bonus the method of payment stripe must not even be on binance for you to do this okay so what happened is that one of you uh you will now create the ad and you decide the fee here okay 
you will decide the fee here okay so most likely the fee will, will not be up to the competitive rates let's say if everybody here is charging um everybody here is charging a particular fee let's say you you can go for six or something okay but both of you know the quantity of usd that the person is going to release to you okay or you can still stick to the normal rates you can stick to the normal rate but you the you only carry out that ad immediately you want to transact and you only accept only his order okay now i'm teaching you two things now let's say the person wants to transact you want to send over two thousand usdt he's sending two thousand dollars to you and uh, let's say you are using excellent arbitral if it works and uh, so the person is sending you uh he's sending maybe from his excellent account in maybe ukraine and he's sending that you're sending your your money from ukraine or let's say how will i put it let me explain as excellent some of this arbitrage so the person is sending this money to you from uh you're sending him from your nigeria you pay to him and the person comes here and he receives the money and you know you guys need that level of trust so binance will be the escrow so the person will release receive that money in his own currency and uh funds you here but what happens here is that you create an ad the person will click that he's selling crypto to you and within that period the person transacts okay so the ad can just be for only that person and all that okay so when you put that ad there you can set the price you can set the amount so this is where so when you post your ad through this method but remember that you must have at least you can see you must have done you can choose the method you can choose okay you must have done your um, analysis okay if you choose your analysis you can say you are going to release let's say i don't even have usd on this particular account right now i can say i want to buy let me see. okay let me just say for example i don't know if it's going to work because they definitely will charge okay you can see the response rate i can choose that this and this okay so i can publish this in manually later can just set these ads and keep and when that time which i release it okay so this is how the you can use it for issue it means that when you post let me go back quit okay so what happens here guys um when you have created that ad and posted how will the person find you the person will have to check your username on binance so the person must find your username now everybody on binance has a particular username okay no buyer has the same username that is this like this person now is doga so the person will need to send you his username so all you need to do is to search for that particular username and you use it so you can check like this person now is ninja and this is, so the person must be aware of his username nobody has the same username so it can be uh, different names you can just click searching and all that kind of stuff okay you can filter you can uh, let me see if it's possible to search by username okay but if once you have transacted with the person before you can easily get the person by saving person details okay so this is one of the methods that you can so once you see the person you can come here and check if it's his username and uh, okay so that is one of the ways you can use binance for your s rule means that so you avoid scams it's not going to happen or is it will happen but you use it to avoid scams on your platform because i actually fell for a scam just like this so if you in case you're doing a transaction with anybody in africa if you're doing it with a nigerian also you can use this method i just showed you to binance that the uh, person must have you one of you must have usdt or to release and uh, you guys can continue your transaction as uh, if anybody does not release you can just report the person you can just report the person all true you can see let's say if you click here that i want to buy now let's say you want to click that i want to buy although i, I can will still cancel this trade but i don't it will affect my completion rate but if you click on that i want to buy if you didn't buy and you didn't pay up to the time and you and um 
or you paid and the person refused to release the person uses it is here already so you can easily report the person to Binance. So guys, um subscribe to this channel and please don't fall for any um uh, scam when you carry out your international arbitrage and i'm going to drop uh cameroon arbitrage as the day comes by thank you